Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Brando. Uh, today I have with me Seven Pie Chocolate Lava. Now, like I said, this is the chocolate variant. There are several color variants of the of the Seven Pie Lava, and these pods were sent to me from Mike. And he can be found on Google Plus. Uh, under the alias of Mike Knight 69 I'll put his name in the description. Now, what I know about seven pop peppers, they, they burn heavily, and and from what I gather of the seven pop lavas, they stand up their name. Hey, this one's. <laughs> This one's got a lot of seeds in this one for this type, or for ultra hots. They do. Uh, they don't really tend to carry this many seeds, but the central tissue lining the walls does have that very um, seven pot like uh, scent to it. Yeah, this one has a strong seven pot smell to it. From what I know, I mean seven pots, they uh, do get very hot, burn he burn hard. So, yeah, I'm just prepared for that. Hmm. Uh, I thought I dropped something. Alright. Yeah, like I said, I got this one from Mike over on Google Plus. He grew these, and if you want any know know any methods uh, or his method of growth, or you know whether he grew in ground. And put in planters or however you grow them, go ahead and contact them. Now, I know I took a little my time on chewing this one, but with this variety, 
seven pies. I'm gonna want to do that. Um, I chew them very finely for the sake of his like you don't want any larger chunks getting caught anywhere down in the throat, down on the way down the way as it goes through. I mentioned in other videos I've done the the finer you chew it up and the more minced stuff you get it the easier this is to process through the system rather than having one large any large chunks just sitting around in you irritating you pretty well and it makes it easier to swallow as well now um very seven pot like with the flavor and and the heat um it's got that burn of the seven pot some people say seven pot some people say seven pot or some people say seven pot seven pot um but it's got that very seven pot taste um like with the the brown ones or the chocolate ones. It's got that, does got an earthy, kind of slightly earthy type tone. Um, very smoke, I'm picking up a smokiness in there. And the seven pot type of uh, fruitiness in there. Now, the flavor, I'm, I like this type of flavor that I'm picking up right now. The heat, I'm liking the heat right now. Still feels like it's building. Got some chunkling around inside of my mouth. Now, as of now, the heat's focusing on my tongue. The whole tongue, pretty much, front to back. And right at the back of the throat. Kind of feels like where the Adam, Adam's apple is at. And I'm picking up them. There's a little bit of tingling on my gums. And, um. This is very, um. Seven pot. Uh. Mouse burn. I mean. Anybody that eaten several types of. Super hots or ultra hots. And it have been eaten seven pods before. We can tell types of burns that each one will have. Um, like this one does remind me of other seven pod types of burns. Each strain will have their own type of burn to them. This one I am feeling on my gums. Tingling. My mouth is starting to water a bit. So if you make it, if you, my voice sounds a little different because starting to, my mouth is watering pretty good. And, uh, um, my airways and all that are clear right now because of, because of it. But, I think I'm getting a little bit of endorphin rush on here. Um, but yeah. I'm kind of liking the burn of this one. This one's burning pretty good. Now. That's what I like about some of these variants and strains. One strain of burn will look slightly different than the next. <clears throat> well, he's staying in pretty strong. Like I said, I'm feeling it on the gums. Right in the front of the mouth where I was chewing. Um, staying on the tongue. Still, right at the back of the tongue. Really strong burn.
I could see you using that to spice up any of your meals or something like that, definitely. Yeah, just an all over mouth kind of burn right now, pretty much. I am feeling a little bit on the roof of the mouth, but not so much on the roof of the mouth. Just more on the outside of my gums. And then more on the tongue. Now the heat's kind of receding a bit. Feeling on my lips. And it's got an interesting flavor, I can say that much. But yeah, uh, Mike, good job at growing these ones. Uh, and thanks for sending the pods. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't think the heat's getting any hotter from now. I think it's going to be the back a bit. So, but anyway, uh, if you guys got any questions, comments, section below. Uh, and uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And as always, keep it spicy. Peace out. Later.